so I have this board that has some difficulty in routing so I'm going to show you how to fix those things uh, one of the things that you want to have it uh, display the board outline so display color visibility and board geometry and outline and if you apply this and you get the board outline showing not, not something very special one of the things that you need to know is that you can highlight a net for example this is a uh, ground net net uh, this net if you click on this is a ground net and it has been highlighted with some color you can change this highlight uh, color with uh, it's called a temporary highlight for example i want to make it a chocolate color i can change it to this and then uh, you can click on display highlight and you find the net and then you click on this it gets uh, highlighted you can change its color using this area display uh, it should say something like a uh, highlight temporary highlight or something like that anyway I'm not able to find it right now but this is the net which is highlighted that's the point now I click on this cross and then I click on uh, find and in the find I click on C lines and then I go on deleting all the nets that are correspond to this ground net for example I delete this guy this uh, all of these ones we don't need them so the next issue is also for example this one I'm going to delete this as well now I can go on and route these using this and I I have these are the unrouted routes also you need to see that this is this is routed in a very roundabout way we need to find a shortest path that will route it so i go on and delete this as well it cleans up a little bit and then i go on and start routing from this one this is a ground net and i don't want to route this one the next to it is this guy okay so you need to zoom a little bit and so we got this one routed the next is uh, we are removing this one from the routed net because it's going to obstruct things and then I use this slide icon to slide it, it a little bit to make a space for more routing so I am sliding this guy out you can do sliding like this sliding like this you can practice sliding and then I go and click this one is there enough space now to click on this and then I, I'll try to use as much from the top as possible but you can also use the bottom one it will also make a space so all the top ones have been routed now on the these pins okay but these routings go in parallel so I don't want this line to obstruct this thing I go on and click this click this I do the same thing for all of the remaining nets just go on clicking ok I don't do this because this is a some power net and it's going to obstruct our routing so I will just go route all the bus all the pins from the bus and route all of this you 
can also do custom smoothing this is the button it says custom smoothing you click it and then click double click on this and it will automatically smooth hand it a little bit to give it a better looking you want to slide the traces to bring them closer and leave the space for other things if it's not perfectly aligned you can just align these things like that now so i go on and route most of it like this uh, this now this is the space left so i go on and route this as well this one now once you do that you feel that there is no way you can route this net from here to here it won't allow because the traces here are blocking it so what i do is i go on here and then double click here i get a via and then this is the yellow line i come out of this range and then i come here and then again double click it i come to the top surface and route it like this so if you see where the you may have to highlight the bottom layer in order to see the traces that connect to uh, on the from the bottom layer so you can do the similar thing for this for example like this go on the top go on the bottom and then maybe something like this and then when you click done you will see these these traces so that's how it's it's done uh, you can continue this sometimes you may have to slide the components for example if this I'm able to route but if you if I wanted to I could have uh, slide this component a little bit to the left find symbols I slide it to a little to the left that helps a little bit in that case this one got disconnected I delete this trace this trace and route it again so there are a few more things uh, so I make some space now I can route this guy here uh, and finally one more trace like this. It's just a matter of a little practice and you will be able to do it very quickly For example, in this case, there is no way you can come out of this, so you double click it, go to the bottom layer, come here and come to the top. So <coughs> from here you go to the bottom layer, the yellow one is the bottom layer and this is the via that connects to this. You can continue this whole thing all the way to the right. For example, on the right hand side, if you see, uh, there is very much a roundabout routing. I want to delete all of this. Uh, this is for example is very much going like this circular like this so i'm going to delete all of this and then start routing again so i routed it one like this the next pin i go here 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 and this is a via you can delete that as well can find when you are deleting it and if you are not able to delete this via go and find and do the via as well as C line I delete this via I will this via I did this line this line I clean up everything and then I start it again uh, this 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 so now you say now i cannot go come out so i have two options what i do is i manually uh, make some room by sliding these traces i have the rooms to trace more routes so i go on and then do this trace and keep doing this thing hope this helps to you then again you save this and then 